Welcome back, guys, to Scarlet Nexus. Well, with our main playthrough of Yuito over, and with a Kasane one about to start, the new game plus to help us run through it, see the story that we missed. A quest has been added. Explore each area to find people with quests for you as a little bit of post-game fun begins, or a little bit of post-game questing, depending on how you look at it. So with our team bond and everything else completely done, supposedly there are five quests around the map that give us things called Phantom Arts. Phantom Arts are required to be exchanged for new weapons that appear after the game, because of course you need more power after you've already completed the game, as with every JRPG that ever existed. So these Phantom Arts coincide to certain people. So for example, here's one for Yuito for an Atori weapon, an Atori blade. We've got the KN here. So we basically need to find these Phantom Arts, find them out monkey, or do quests to get Phantom Arts, which is what we're gonna do to unlock these weapons for our next run through. So it's a little bit of cleaning up and making sure we have some good stuff as we move on. With that said though, the Phantom Art that we got at the end of the game, Phantom Art Phoenix and Moth, being like two people of course, means we can choose to, to have the weapon for either Yuito or Kasane. Now we know that Yuito is fine, he's completed his game, but with Kasane about to be the main protagonist, if we carry over the items and all that, I'm not exactly 100% sure how the uh, new game works, but I'm assuming so. I think I might make Kasane's weapon, the Hitori. The artistry of the box cutter Hitori represents the genius artisan supposed to have made it. It was modeled after the tiger moth, a moth that fears no flame. The bravado this moth displays in the face of imminent danger is reminiscent of Kasane. Let's give her power, as I intend to go through at least on hard mode. Even though, of course, the scaling for that might be off until the end of the game. But it does allow us to... Well, easily get through it and see the story that we've missed, see the story from Kasane's perspective. So, you have that equipped now. So, we need to go get ourselves some extra stuff. So, there are quests in Seiran and Suo City. As you can tell, I've already checked. Two quests in Seiran, three quests in Suo, one of which being outside the Sumeragi tomb. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Indeed, there does. So it looks like I can't get it. There we go. So let's start with this quest. Oh, I bet you can use clairvoyance. Am I right? <laughs> I'm a huge, huge fan of an artist called Aki Shiroyama, but his works are so detailed. I thought that maybe he had special eyes, so I'd like you to show me your clairvoyance powers to help verify my theory. Phantom Art Swallow. Yeah, that's great. I'll be observing you closely. Aki is an amazing artist with many fans, even though he died a long time ago. So what do you need me to do about this art that you need me to verify with clairvoyance? Verifying the secret. Well, SS clairvoyance is active to defeat two vine yawns. Is that going to be in our final area then? The psychokinesis finished defeat three missing pounds. That's at the supernatural life research facility. So two tasks to do. Let's go sort this out and get our reward and get our weaponry. So it's time to make another go at knocking down Smokey boy missing pound with a psychokinesis crush attack take it out. to take out his HP to nothing. Always having to get it during the smoke to knock it down. And you can't get the next PK attack, the PK Let's finish. The next one. If you crush it and knock it down, you have to make sure it has enough yellow bar and that's the annoying thing about doing that. But that was my third one. We've already, of course, done those things before. So it's the Vine Yawns who are my targets next. Vine Yawns are where exactly? Vine Yawn, where are you, Yawn? They are indeed in the Sumeragi tomb. The memories of rebellion, the memories of impact.
nightmare level, so the sixth part of the last area, and then move backwards to get to this guy, just to kill him twice than anywhere else, I think, maybe. Well, at least that's what I did after running through the entire fifth area and then realizing the sixth area is right there. So we get Phantom Art Swallow for that. <laughs> Which enables another weapon crafting. Considering it's about clairvoyance then, Enmu. Enmu is a gun said to be created by an artisan whose life was shrouded in mystery. The motif is on a swallow, which is known for its incredible eyesight. Only people with equally impressive eyesight bring out this weapon's potential. We could even have a look at the weapon design before we move on and pick our next quest, to be honest. So let's have a look-see. Let's probably pick up all the quests rather than do them one by one, just in case there's enemies along the way for everything. Enmu's like a little golden revolver. Meanwhile, Kasani's weapons are flying around quite nicely, so it seems a gold motif might be for all these phantom art weapons. Alright, let's go back to Sedan and pick ourselves up another quest, I think. So our next phantom art quest is down here with this lady who's just staring at a door. The art dealer. I handle all sorts of artwork for my job, but Aki Shiriyama's works have a different air about them. Speaking of which, the last time I was in Suwa, a deal for some Shiriyama pieces fell through because of an other attack. Ah, I'm fuming just thinking about it. All because of that damn other. I wanted to get revenge on that other for me. The Phantom Art Turtle. You can just go suppress the hell out of them. I'll share some top secret info on Shiriyama's work as a way to show you my gratitude. No interference has begun. Alright, I'll make that our active quest. No interference indeed. While well, SAS Sclerokinesis is active, defeat two Auger Sabat. That seems quite easy. With charge attacks, defeat two Booga Sabats, though, seem a bit more irritating. We've got to go to Anherbaki for them, I think. I guess we'll start with the charge attacks. I'm just wondering if I, I don't really have the brain map points to upgrade my charge attack at all. Enhanced charge attack is there. So I won't be able to get that. So we're going to have to do it with a normal charge attack. Just basically whittling him down and hit him with the last hit by look of things. Let's get on the way. It appears defeating the Boogery Boys with... It appears defeating the Boogery Boys with charge attacks isn't that hard considering the whole warp charge attack that we currently have. So after I dodge these... Let's do this. Get our charge attack going. Get completely wrecked. For a bad timed attack. Yikes, everything hit me. I went in exactly the wrong time. But the warp charge attack, getting in and out, even if it doesn't do massive amounts of damage, it's very good way to just easily finish things off. So our Sabat is next. The underground line, I think, is one good place for me to get them. So let's go and sclerokinesis them. And so with the target of our quest found in the abandoned line as we move away quite liberally at this point in time, all we have to do is have sclerokinesis active while my clones are weirdly sideways. We're going to breach the outer shell with this, after all. So with that in mind, we can just do that pretty much normally. For the most part. Get our damage in. Put on Scarakinesis. Get the break. And now it's already dead. Now die. And that is quest complete. No sclerokinesis really needed to take on that guy, that's for sure. Isn't that more or less the guy we had to come to to do it in the first place? So with no interference now completed, we get the Phantom Art Turtle. Let's head back to a safe guy, make myself a new weapon. I may as well just go to... Yeah, let's go to Sewer City's Supermarket Tomb Grounds. Because that's where we can pick up another quest as well. Before we check the weapons. So, next quest is... I want to produce art projects and we had an issue come up with our exhibition. Some troublesome others are interfering with the transportation of the pieces. Do you think you can suppress them for us? I want the exhibit for the legendary artist Aki Shiroyama to be a success. Please, I'm counting on you. The Phantom Up Elephant. 
will be available after that. Thank you very much. Just what you'd expect from a Scarlet Guardian. There's no, there's not much I could do to repay you, but the Phantom Art's pretty good. Each of his pieces are one-of-a-kind works of art without any studies left behind. Something would have happened to them. I mean, I'm combining them to make weapons, maybe? All right, for the exhibition is now active. We'll check that out in just a second. But if I leave from here to the main street... Now we missed a shop and save guy right here. And the archivist is waiting. So, what weapon am I able to make from that? I'm assuming it's a gauntlet. Kiseki Trails <laughs> was made by a Wonderkin artisan who put all his knowledge into weapon making but sadly died early. His turtle motif represents longevity and sturdiness. A fitting weapon for Gemma who served the OSF for a long time. Of course, his stuff doesn't seem to ever actually change design. And luckily, we've got the coil moil analysis that's needed for that. Which, of course, we could only ever have one of anyway, right? Ooh, that makes me wonder about the other ones. What's, re what's required for those? Battle record S's, maybe? Court Mort? Seems to have us having defeated the thing. But we're working on Shojin next. The quest to do that? For the exhibition. While the SAS teleportation is active, defeat three Saliva Santas seems pretty easy. With Slam Attack, defeat four Marabou Pendus. I don't have Slam Attack. I actually either have to level for that or I've just got enough. Hold. Triangle one mid air to perform a downward weapon attack. Oh my goodness. I actually needed that. So I might need to level up some more in the future. Luckily, Yuto looks like he's about to hit 62. That was a bit, ooh, a little bit, ooh. I do wonder about these other quests at this point in time. Slam attack has been learnt. Let's head off and start it. Easily able to find the Maribo Pendus in Kikuchiba's sub-level, of course, just lowering ourselves from the mid-level. This quest is fairly easy to actually do with the slam attack. Because all you have to do is knock him up, and then slam attack, and then knock him up, and then slam attack, and then knock him up, and then slam attack. <laughs> I think you see what's going on here. That finisher worked. To easily do it. The next one too. Because that slam attack is part of a several hit combo, it seems. You could just keep chaining it back and forth to easily do it. And that was four done here without any issue whatsoever. So, Kikuchiba is the place you need to be. Meanwhile, Santas. More Santas. Saliva Santas are earlier on. Or Babe Floor of Reason? Okay, we need to kill them with our teleportation on. Let's go find those guys. So, coming to Babe's Floor of Reason, literally around this corner are three Saliva Santas ready to be attacked. So, it's with that active. I'm watching out for you. Thanks, Arashi. So, you need help? Thanks to my power. Yeah, all that's required is the activity. No die. One. I can hit it. Two. Leave it to me. Three. Unable to remotely deal with everything I've just done to them. <laughs> Well, I wasn't expecting to come around the corner and just literally face three of them like that. But when it's like there and they're all using water attacks, it's like, well, I think we could take them out in the blink of an eye. A teleportation blink, you could say. Well, this quest was the easiest one of the five thus far. Maybe there'll be an easier one. I don't know. For the exhibition is complete. We now got the elephant power up. If we go back just a second, we can get that equipped. Now the shop over here. And we know whose exactly weapons it is. Shoujin is a hammer thought to be made by an artist who was sci also psionic. The elephant motif represents immense strength and intelligence, reminiscent of Luca's overwhelming battle prowess and wit. So how does this weapon look? Is it also a big golden slab? I guess the boot, the gloves did actually update, so we just got golden gloves now. I didn't really see much of the update throughout the things, but Gavin's did update. And yours, weapon, sir? 
that's ornate. <laughs> that's an ornate weapon indeed. The kind of craziest one thus far. It's a shame we won't be seeing you at those until, like, going through everything, if you know what I mean. I mean, I could always pair of editing that in. But still, golden weapons get. Meanwhile, I guess that leaves Hanabi. But there's five quests. So who's the other one for? So our next quest brings us into the safe zone. What does he want? Hey, so I need to talk to you about some top secret information. Shh, keep it down. It's a Shuriyama fan. Did you think you can take on the other suppression mission for me? Oh, do I think? I got secret orders to go on another important mission. There's somewhere I need to go for justice. Please take on this other suppression for me. Phantom Art Monkey would be obtained. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I can go see the Aki Shuriyama exhibit without remorse. <laughs> oh, uh, um, he's more like my favorite artist and the tickets for the exhibit are about to expire. Uh, anyway, thanks. The important mission has been undertaken. I guess we can understand why he's monkey, considering Hanabi is a staff wielder. Our quest. While SAS Pyrokinesis is active to defeat four fuel pools, incredibly easy. What with Brainfield Super Armor defeat two buddy Rumi. Now There was stuff in chat that one of these missions was bugged, and that's not what you do. So I probably need to look this up. Because I didn't see the actual answer to this, but supposedly the quest is bugged and the text is wrong. So with an important mission done. Let's go defeat two Buddy Lumi. So we found our Buddy Lumis here in Musugawa District with a plan of Pendu randomly coming in to attack as well. Supposedly the actual quest for me to do here is actually to brain crush two of them at a time, and you can brain crush multiples because we've actually done it. Finish it off. The main issue with this comes. It's getting two of them brain crushed at the same time. It's down. Give it everything you've got. As you can see. So. Thanks, Kotaro. All right. It looks like it lost us. Let's get them lined up like that, maybe. And quite possibly have already completed the quest. Next. Thanks to Sugumi like giving us some extra rare. crush power Yuta. when we're in clairvoyance. That was definitely two brain crush at the same time. And buddy remedies are done. So that's what you've got to do. Brain crush two at the same time. The, the issue with it is literally just trying to get two of them brain crush and not dead. Because I had to take a couple of tries just to do that. And that's why I put in stealth. Because I was wondering if I could hit them in stealth in a group. But it turned out I couldn't. So that was a bit of a problem. But, job done. Alright then, fuel pools. That's pretty easy. Supposedly that quest was messed up due to a mistranslation. Let's move on. With our next quest being to kill two fuel pules, or actually four, but I've already killed two. There is another two in here. Well, SAS Pyrokinesis is active. Is so that active? Leave it to me. We can easily just dive in. And finish our quest simply. So the quests are getting easier as I go along at this rate. Next. That's all of them. Can't discount well, an army's firepower, even though paralysis and being able to hit people during that period of time is pretty good. So with that done, that is our quest complete. Fuel pools were just, yeah, they're just over the supernatural real life. Research life? Real life? Oh no, they probably are being real life. But still, they're all over here. Let's complete that, get Phantom Out Monkey. And see what weapon we obtain. Our staff 
Cayenne. Cane? I do wonder. The archery of Cayenne is representative of its genius creator. It uses the motif of an animal with very high sociality, the monkey. The monkeys engraved on it are certainly satisfied that someone like Hanabi, who fights bravely for friends, wields it. Needs the Gunkin Fisher analysis. We're finally using our boss staff. So the question is, what's Hanabi, the final one? New weapon. It's so cool. Isn't it? I feel so happy just holding it. It really is amazing. That's the first one I've got for a new weapon thing. No one else cared to talk about their cool weapon. So that is Hanabi's new weapon now. Very fancy, mind you. Right, with that said and done, I guess we return to Sewer City and find out what our next quest is. So let's get going. So our last quest brings us back to OSF headquarters, where there's a guy who's obviously very interested in art, waiting to talk to me about something. Coincidentally, I have multiple suppression missions for large others, but short on members we could dispatch. Can you help me suppress this other? It should be a walk in the park if we use your psychokinesis power. Bond assist is the reward. Good answer. I'll send you on the mission. I was wondering what the other one would be if it was only weapons seemingly from my group. Quest Suppression Support is now active. Bond Assist. Who even knows what that actually really gives me because I've already maxed out all my bonds. So use a combo vision with Kasane. Defeat two winery chinneries. Winery chinneries. That is a pretty easy quest as well. It seems like we tackled the hard ones first. So let's go find two and take them down. And so we come to our final quest target here. Found as near to Togetsu as I could get at Genomancer's Trailhead. Past the flying so sequence annoying. where we go on our magic carpet. We find our guy in that little kind of extra bit. Fighting him twice, of course, to get the quest complete as we now get hunted down by this orb of electric. We have to do combo visions with Kasane. Finish the job. The only issue with that is that, again, it's a case like the real attacks with the psychokinesis and such a hardy target of waiting for powers to come back. We fulfilled the requirements. To get the final hit That's in. All of them. You did well, Yuito. So that is all of the quests for Yuito. Now complete. Use a combo vision with Kasane, defeat two winery chinneries, a bond assist was obtained. Bond assist is a plugging. Which probably isn't available for anyone but me, he says. Yes, there are certain ones like that. Support plugin that helps the user's relationship with their allies. Using it will make it easier to deepen the bond with the user's allies. It's only effective on the playable character. Well, that might help us out for the new game plus to get our bonds up as fast as possible and get our combat power to the maximum it can possibly be. So with that done, now I just have to kind of complete the game again to get another save file, I think, so these things can carry over to our new game plus. I train every day, so I'm ready to go to the front lines whenever I'm needed. All our missions are complete. So let me do that. And we'll have ourselves a new save file and ready for Kasane's route. And so that brings us to the end of Yurito's route with the post game complete and the credits where I generally like the credits at the end because when the credits rolls, I like to think that the game is over. However, these credits were, of course, placed between the end boss battle and the epilogue. So between two episodes, because I essentially used the credits to cut because, of course, it had the song by the Oral Cigarettes Dreamin' Drive as the first music that came out. So I've replaced it, rejigged it, and kind of now placing it here at the end of Yuto's route proper with all the post-game side quests done. Pretty much every single bit of content that he could do. Done. Seen. Delivered. Just because we can just cap it off and speak about the route as a whole. The route as a whole where we were chasing no knowledge, no information the entire time. And as you can see from the credits rolling at the moment, there's a really nice effect going on here at the time where any picture with Karen in it has him literally getting deleted from ever happening with the red strings. You can see him just teleport away, disappear from the timeline, 
as it said straight afterwards in the epilogue anyway, so I didn't think it was that important to just, you know, not have it removed, but I, I just wanted to rejig it, refit it, and I do think the credits should come at the end of the game, because I don't know about you, I like to have credits and then think, I'm done. Which, of course, post-games kind of stop, and I play a lot of game with post-games, and post-games are extra content, so you can't complain necessarily about that. But I wish they did, like, an extra credits to say, like, hey, you've done the post-game, here's some more credits, <laughs> a different credit design, a different song, that'd be great. So replace the music and all that. But yeah, Yuato's route was just a chasing route. No information, no nothing. It was very much the, uh, the reactive route. It feels, and I don't know how Kasane's route's going to go, which we're of course going into going to go into now, because it's probably going to be the proactive route. But I remember at this point in time just being completely confused by what the hell had just gone on, involving, of course, Karen did the time flip back, but of course, for some reason, somehow, it required his death to make Alice's life an actual existence. And there's Kodama, one of those characters that was barely around for the entire game that surely must be more of a plot thread in Kasane's route, which I'm actually just about to like start off and stream and all that, so that's cool. So with Yuuto in the dark, I think it was probably, and of course I haven't played the other route yet, but I think that even just playing Yuuto's route first, it seems like the best route to tackle first. On the basis is that it's a mystery. You don't know what's going on. You're swept along on a roller coaster. I'm assuming Kasane has a lot more agency, a lot more drive, and it's just generally working towards something at any point in time. And there goes Kaoren again. But we will see. We will see how that actually pans out because she seems to get the answers at least earlier, or at least some more information than you'd expect earlier. Whereas Yuto, again, reactive, just dealing with an absolute lot of stuff, including his powers, his existence as a dud. Just, he had so much things going on that I kind of wonder what Kasane has going on. I'm interested in getting to the, like, the design children kind of bit of her life. Finding out all of the Togetsu stuff, because her squad, her platoon is going to be highly Togetsu-like. And I'm also wondering how much of the game actually diverges from this point like how much content will be completely new of course all the bonding will be but what will be just changed what will we see will there be completely new missions in the middle of things we will find out and we will enjoy it when we do see it i'm sure because we're going to go straight into it next episode but yes i'm supposed to be talking about you toast rude aren't i but it was an incredibly confusing roller coaster ride, ending with yet more time travel shenanigans, which just left you go buh at the time the credits appeared. But I guess it could only really end that way too. It does wrap itself up somewhat nicely, at least like the timeline all sorts itself out, I guess. Though I have seen several times that there's usually some kind of observers of a timeline that get to retain their information in various forms of media whereas everyone else is just kind of like set off and they just don't know that someone exists but it's kind of sad in one way that Karin doesn't exist anymore but he got his goal and he didn't end the world and the world was saved and the Yuuto from the future is stuck in a separate timeline possibly just to deal with the end of the world but our timeline is good the questions come if, if there's split timelines is which one's the main timeline and is there ever a main timeline in these kind of scenarios? Who even knows most of the time? And time really is the thing that matters. Speaking of time, when we get to Kasane's route, time travel itself is going to be a lot more of a thing, a feature. Whereas Yuto may have had the power but it didn't seem like he had any actual agency over it. So this is really the thing. It's, the question of agency. Yuuto is a mystery story, a roller coaster that we go on. Kasane hopefully will know more and be striving forth more towards goals, towards anything. We will see as the end of the credits starts to scroll up upon us. So, with that said, we get ready for Kasane's route on New Game Plus. With our levels carried over, our items carried over, but put on hard mode to see if the later game comes up to be a bit more of a crazy challenge. 
we will see as we move on what Scarlet Nexus has to reveal, what more little bits we can fill in, what more we can see. But for now, I bid you farewell for this part of the Let's Play, Yuruto's Root. And if you're dropping off here and don't want to see it all, thank you for watching. But for those who want to see the whole thing, join me for the next episode. Kasane's Root Begins. This is the credits, and this is me, signing out. Bye-bye.